Hello guys, welcome back to a new weekly video. Today's video it is my 10 staples for fall. Transitional pieces, uh, like transitional, something that uh, we really like you know, to start wearing now and like taking into winter. 10 pieces can really be the base of your full wardrobe. So like a starting point, I don't know, for me, September is really like starting fresh. So we go through our wardrobe, we see what we have, we see what we miss. Like really like a back to school feeling, like starting fresh. I like a couple of new pieces, but the rest is um, items that I had from last year that I still love like classics so you can still find them in stock on the websites so you are going to be able to shop all these pieces but you're probably gonna have also something very similar in your own closet and you know you can even just use this video as an inspiration as a starting point for your full wardrobe building I think that in general autumn is really the time if you want to invest in something for your closet is really like the right time because it's the beginning of the season you're really gonna get a longevity of your wardrobe like you can start wearing it now until you know the end of winter and some pieces even in spring so you're really gonna maximize that cost per wear but let's begin with my 10 staples so item number one for me it is a great blazer it's a camel blazer um, it is from the Frankie shop many of you uh, must already know it from Instagram it comes it's like a very like oversized blazer and you might think like why not a black blazer because I think that we probably all have a black blazer in our closet already, but I think that maybe I would include the black blazer more into like winter staples while now thinking of autumn, um, I really like wearing still like shades of beige and like camel, like not go like too like deep dark into winter already. I feel that a, in general a camel blazer is so versatile, you can pair it like basically with like any color and while a um, black blazer sometimes it can be like too harsh so for me number one it is a camel blazer but in general I would put aside as well I would also mention like a black blazer but also like a gray blazer but camel for me it is number one so this specific one is from the Frankie shop I feel like a sort of like modern minimalistic brand if you're not familiar with it like they do like very clean lines like quite oversized pieces brand that i personally like really like and really what you can do right now it is go to your closet see where you have a gap so for example if you already have a camel blazer but you're missing like a black one like really look what you're missing and uh, but for me if i have to mention one color that goes with everything it would be camel because it goes for example really well also with like a total black outfit uh, with jeans uh, is something that you can dress up in the evening you can wear it like during the day like really easily with jeans and um, loafers and sneakers as well so it's a very very versatile piece worth the investment what I think you must know about this specific brand and this specific blazer like so the Frankie shop is famous for like their oversized uh, fit which I love because you know I'm tall so for me it's not always easy to find oversized pieces and um, in the blazer I'm wearing my regular size, size medium and already comes oversized so you don't need to uh, size up and uh, actually if you're not very tall I would suggest you like to size down because it really comes quite big in general, I really like the broad shoulders, the fact that um, the bottoms are not black but they're like camel, so it's a sort of like camel on camel, like really like, you know, like those details that, that make an item special. Um, and I love the camel because, you know, I love wearing um, gold jewelry, um, pretty much all my jewelry is gold, so I feel that um, it really fits 
so well with Camel. And in general, I just think it's like a very good investment and it's a piece that you can take from now until like winter and spring and for seasons to come. This one, I have it from last year and um, I still feel like it's such a fresh piece. I'm just gonna keep on wearing and wearing. So I'm really getting the cost per wear from this blazer. But let's move on to my next piece, piece number two, loafers. I have a lot of loafers, um, designer loafers as well. I chose to include in this video uh, these specific ones. These are from Dear Frances excellent quality shoe brand made in Italy uh, because these ones are very very plain actually they are very very similar to the YSL um, loafers as well so if you're looking for uh, for example a dupe of the YSL this can be a good choice uh, they're still like quite pricey mid-high price range but you know you can really feel the quality you can feel that the you know the real leather it is very soft they are very very comfortable from the first wear i could like just walk around amsterdam all day what i like as well is that they don't have any logos so that's why i chose these ones for this specific video because they can go with everything. I do have Prada loafers, I have Louis Vuitton loafers, I have Celine loafers, like because it's a type of shoe that I wear a lot, so I feel confident to invest in, but I also really like to have plain ones, very, very simple. And I feel that they are like so elegant in terms of styling, it's something like from my personal style, but maybe, you know, you can pick it up and apply as well. So for example, Today I'm wearing this um, YSL belt, so in this case I wouldn't like to wear, you know, the Prada loafers or the Celine ones because they have the logo in it. I really don't like to mix logos, like my outfits becomes too loud and too flashy. So if I have one logo, I just want to keep that brand. And in that case, because I already have a logo showing on my belt, I like to pair it with very plain and clean uh, shoes or bag in this case. If you want to start with loafers and you don't feel like investing so much in a you know first pair, for example, like there is like some other, like very good alternatives from other brands as well. I'm just gonna link it down for you in the description box. So you're gonna find these 10 items linked, but I can, I will also try to link more affordable alternatives for you. In terms of uh, sizing, now I am uh, in between sizes with shoes, so it's always a little bit of a struggle. Particular ones, I, um, I went for a size 41, uh, I am size 40 and a half and I find them really, really comfortable also because I want to be able to wear them with like thick socks or thick tights in winter. Uh, so for me, they fit really well. So what I love about loafers is that um, it's a type of shoe that in the fall autumn, you can wear it really for like really any occasions like they are elegant but you can dress them down as well so this one would also do for example a great office shoes but also uh, you can just wear them with jeans in your casual days as well is really like an everyday shoe I think in general it's always very useful to have a pair of shoes that you can you know wear in any occasion you can dress up and down they are comfortable you they are like quite sturdy so you don't have to worry about ruining the heel you can tell that they are very very durable number three for me it is jewelry if you have a similar style to mine or if you enjoy my style and you like to take inspiration from it i always like a very simple classic clean look but then with statement accessories and because my clothes are quite you know simple before some can also be like boring it's like just a white shirt and a pair of jeans but 
I just think that is the type of cloth that you never get tired of and you can, they are so versatile. The right accessories, you can just change the whole look. Me, like jewelry is really what elevates any of your outfits. I like to introduce more uh, statement uh, necklaces for example or bracelets or earrings as well in autumn because you start to wear like knitwear and with knitwear I like to match a more statement necklace and uh, so for me it's always like a must have and all the jewelry that I'm wearing today it is from my new collection with the boutique minimalist just show, starting to show the new collection is not online yet it is launching on Sunday October 1st so coming very soon I'm gonna leave you the link here but what you can do is that follow my Instagram and you can see all the new pieces I'm gonna show you know different way to style them like close-up photos so when the collection launch you really have a clear idea of what you want to shop and this uh, fall collection we decided to go for a lot of like earthy tones, a lot of like brown and it's really colors, stone colors that matches really well for full outfit color palette. Let's move on with the next staple, staple number four it is for me a piece that you should really invest like everyone should invest it is a great quality pair of denim jeans and is the ones that I'm wearing today if you watched my previous video last week I explained these jeans like really in detail like price fabric composition sizing and everything but uh, these are from a brand that I always find on Revolt it's called girlfriend denim they are like is like a denim brand so they really do denim really well and I think like the fit, the wash, like the color, the, you know, the length, like everything for me in their jeans is like perfection. Like I can wear all of their jeans. And uh, uh, this specific one, I'm wearing a size 28. It's quite of a generous fit, um, but for me it is quite of a relaxed fit, like they're not too tight. I don't like jeans when they are like super tight until it is a, a black winter skinny jeans that I like to tuck in my boots otherwise I really like this type of fit like a high waist with a straight leg I think in general having a very good pair of straight leg jeans of a good length it is essential for an autumn wardrobe because it really will they go with any kind of shoes, I love these with loafers, with sneakers as well, with heels. This type of like blue wash, not too light, not too dark. It's a bit more elegant than a really light summer wash, but it's not too dark and it's just like a slightly darker and uh, it just feels more autumnal. Next staple, it is a cardigan and as I mentioned in last week's video as well, I feel that I wear mostly cardigans um, in autumn uh, before I start wearing like you know the proper winter knits and like more like cashmere. This is a bit of like transitional pieces that but I will take into winter as well for example this one I really like it now just with like just a t-shirt underneath you can dress it up and down but um, I also like it then to wear it more towards winter when it gets colder with like also like a white uh, or a black turtleneck underneath uh, is a style that I really like and I'm really into this uh, Chanel-esque uh, cardigan style tray and cropped with um, gold buttons um, I really really like this I have a few I have this exact same one in gray as well but I have some in black so it is for me like the type of cardigan of this season it's also like a classic so and it's from a French brand very good quality brand um, it is called Rose Paris you've seen me wearing this a lot I want to mention the fabric composition of this um, specific item but in general this brand because as I said is a very good quality this one it is 85% cotton, organic cotton and 15% merino wool, extra fine merino wool, so excellent 
quality and I love everything about this cardigan like the neckline, the gold buttons, the fact that the shoulders are a bit padded so they fit really well, um, you know the little pockets, I love everything about it and I love, uh, I love cardigans in this season because I feel that they are a good investment because you can use them now as an outwear. Days that you don't want to wear a blazer or you don't want to wear a trench coat yet, it's too early for a coat. I think like, you know, cardigans at the moment in fall in general, they are like perfect, like really a must have in any wardrobe. Next up, it is what I'm wearing now, a white shirt. I think like in general, the white shirt all year round, it is the thing that I wear the most together with jeans because what I'm wearing today, it is my go-to look, always. You know, simple with strong accessories, very good quality accessories. And these specific shirts, I have so many, but I chose this one today from Uniqlo. It is a unisex shirt you can see in the cutaway that i showed you like out as well it's a little bit oversized i'm wearing a size medium so not really need to size up but i like that i'm still able to tuck it in so i can wear it in two different ways and i feel that uniqlo is such a good brand for basics and whoever i talk to and i see on social media as well a lot of people that like me, they do enjoy, you know, designer pieces, designer accessories, designer clothes. They also love Uniqlo for basics. Some of the brands that they do like some of the best basics. And I think like when it comes to a white shirt, uh, you can really take a look and you can really trust their quality for like everyday shirts. Of course, they're not anything fancy, nothing special. It's just like, you know, a white shirt that it washes well, 100% cotton, that you can just, you know, wear every day. Next up, it is a trench coat and I feel that it wouldn't be transitional, you know, autumn staples without mentioning a trench coat. I have, you know, a classic beige trench coat. Like, I have so many <laughs> long short, like with the belt, without the belt. Uh, I have a Barbary one. Like, you know, name it, I have it because I wear this so much and I didn't know which one to choose today and I went for this one from Rosé Paris as well. I think that is not uh, dressy and is not super casual, it's like in between and I feel that is one of the ones that I'm wearing the most at the moment and um, I think like everyone should own a beige you know classic trench coat is such a classic piece it will never go out of style you're gonna find yourself wearing this so so much like you you will love it though for the color that you know it suits you the most for me it is beige but for example, I understand that if you live in Amsterdam and you cycle a lot, you probably would prefer to go for like a darker one. Or in general, uh, you can see what it's your colors the most because you can find so many shades of beige. Uh, you can go for like a lighter beige, like more a bit of a warmer beige like I have now, like you have like more stony beige. So you can really take a look, but in general, I think that a long trench coat it is such a classic this is my outfit of today so i love it with like you know just a simple shirt and jeans with loafers but i wear these a lot also like if i dress up with boots but also i go when i do the school run for emma like when i'm just wearing like you know legging and sneakers i throw and like even a hoodie i just throw this on and immediately you feel a little bit more put together so for me it is definitely like a must have of this season. In terms of sizing, I went for quite of a big size. So it's a size 42. So it is, as you can see, quite big. I like to take my sleeve up, but in general, like I feel that a perfect size trench coat, it feels a bit like workwear. While if you want something like more versatile, I like when they are a little bit like oversized uh, and you can play with your sleeve you can belt it like this one for example comes with a belt but I remove the belt I just you know like to wear it like this my sleeve a little bit up 
and just have it like very very floaty. Last two pieces left, so item number nine, it is of course a white t-shirt. Do you have a very good quality white t-shirt in your wardrobe? Because I feel that sometimes we tend to spend our money in more like exciting pieces rather than a white t-shirt because we feel that oh it's just a white t-shirt while I think these basics are so important because a lot of times you're gonna find yourself like you know dressing in a rush or sometimes uninspired and you don't know what to wear and if you reach out to a white t-shirt and a nice cardigan or a white t-shirt under a blazer is always gonna look nice so I feel that to have a few good quality boxy style white t-shirt are such a staple in a anyone's wardrobe. I prefer the boxy style and this is one of my favorites. This is from Uniqlo but I also really like some more heavy waist one like from another stories. That one is currently in the wash because I wear this so much. I can link my other favorites as well and they are all of like very good price point you know so you don't have to necessarily like spend a lot of money for a good quality white t-shirt. Next up it is uh, tailored trousers. I picked these specific ones in grey and last week in last week video I also showed you some navy blue one from Cezanne. These are from another stories and I uh, love tailored trousers in autumn. It's the perfect season because I feel that they go so well with like sneakers, with loafers and then of course you can dress them up with like a kitten heel, high heels as well so they go with like so many different pair of shoes but I think like Autumn is really like a staple to wear your trousers and sneakers or loafers is also like one of my go-to and I didn't have a very good pair of uh, a bit more like wide leg uh, grey trousers so I went for these and I find myself wearing these a lot at the moment uh, so I had to include them like I wore it with sneakers you can see some more stylings on my Instagram as well and I also dress them up for an evening event with like kitten heels. And then for me, the last piece, piece number 10 of my autumn staples, it is a good belt. I'll say again, like I like very simple pieces and I like to elevate them with uh, very nice accessories. So uh, I think like it really changes the mood of your outfit, like when you have a good belt. I have personally like a very wide collection of designer belts because I like to personally match my belt to my shoes and bag as well. If you don't feel like investing in like a high-end belt or like a designer like really expensive belt, you can also look at like either vintage belts or there is like some very cool vintage inspired belts uh, for example from brands like Another Stories or Cezanne I can link some options for you I also have some from them I think like Totem also does very good um, clean and elegant belts but in general I feel like look at the buckle when it's like a really you know uh, interesting buckle I think uh, it really also like adds a very nice uh, touch to your outfit it really makes it more interesting okay guys these were my 10 staples for autumn and I think like in general I really enjoy this video I will make one for winter as well but I think like in general once you have your core wardrobe then you can first of all like you always feel like put together when you have like your very good quality pieces like ready for you to be styled you can style them together or then you can use these pieces and add something more if you like trendy uh, or seasonal as well but once you have your core you can really play around with your wardrobe and these are all uh, pieces that I really feel like to recommend you and I'm sure you're gonna wear them a lot. Please let me know uh, if you agree with my list or if you already have uh, these pieces in your wardrobe or like similar to these. I'm always very curious to hear from you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment and I'll see you next week with the next video. Bye!